गाइस इस इज रिदी भटनागर योर लीगल रीजनिंग एजुकेटर फ्रॉम 12 मिनट्स टू क्लैट इन टुडेस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट 3 मंथ्स स्ट्रेटजी टू प्रिपेयर फॉर लीगल रीजनिंग सेक्शन इन द क्लैट 2025 एग्जामिनेशन विद दैट फर्दर एडू लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी डिवाइडेड इन 5 पार्ट्स वी विल डिस्कस द पैटर्न ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन सेकंडली वी विल डिस्कस द सिलेबस ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन थर्ड वी विल टॉक इन डिटेल what are the laws and uh, what are the topics under the laws that you have to cover for the examination fourth we shall discuss how to prepare these topics how to prepare the syllabus and lastly we will be talking about mocks and legal reasoning practice questions coming to the first part of the video which is the pattern of the examination i'm sure as all of you know clat exam consists of 120 questions that you have to solve within 2 hours the whole exam is based on a passage based pattern which means you are given a passage on which you can be asked 5 to 10 questions generally it is always 5 questions per passage and uh, sometimes the answer may be in the passage sometimes the answer may not be for every question that you answer correctly you get one mark and for every question that you answer wrongly you lose 0.25 marks now coming to the legal reasoning section of the clat examination it generally comprises of 28 to 32 questions now there is no time limit per section as we have five sections there is no time limit you could be doing english section for the next 2 hours but uh, it is recommended that you should try to finish legal reasoning section within 40 minutes no matter what is the sequence of you attempting legal reasoning section so let's assume you start with gk be done with it within 10 minutes and then you go to the legal reasoning section so legal reasoning section should be completed within 40 minutes because else there will be no time left for the other sections now these questions are based on a passage uh, so uh, there are five questions on each passage generally so they give 30 questions in legal reasoning section which would be approximately six passages so these passages can be from any realm of law and then you would have to answer the questions based on the information given in the passage now coming to a very important question do you need to read the passage or does the passage will have the answer so you do need to read the passage just to check whether there are exceptions mentioned or not because if exceptions are mentioned answer will be different if exception is not mentioned answer will be different apart from that you skim through the passage do not read the passage wholly because you will not have the time and coming to the question do you need to uh, study as much because the passage will have the information you do need to study legal reasoning section um laws of the country because if you know it already it would be easier for you to skim through the passage you would not have to come back to the passage uh again and again to answer the question and it would save you a lot of time so yes it is important to cover legal reasoning syllabus even though a passage will be given to you apart from that it is not necessary that the passage shall have the answer now coming to the second point what is the syllabus of legal reasoning section so legal reasoning section comprises of three things if you do these three things you will definitely clear the exam the five core laws that you have to study which is going to be law of torts law of contracts criminal law uh, miscellaneous laws and constitutional law these are the five laws that you will have to study for the clat examination what is the meaning of miscellaneous laws all the laws except the other four laws fall under miscellaneous laws but does that mean you will have to study all the hundreds and thousands of laws no we will only be covering the important ones plus legal current affairs of the last one year now legal current affairs need not be as intense as current affairs but we should know about certain new act that has been passed or certain judgment that has been given by the court which was in news for a long period of time definitely um clat examination legal reasoning section consists of certain paragraphs which are based on your legal current knowledge third thing that you would have to do will be practice no matter whether you go for a 
a class or you don't go for a class it is important that you practice questions that is how you will know how much you have improved and what is the scope left for improvement now coming to the detailed syllabus of legal reasoning section uh, so let's start with law of torts what are the topics that you will have to cover under law of tort essentials of tort tort and other wrongs liquidated damages unliquidated damages general defenses uh, maxims discharge of torts remedies uh, injunction defamation restitution in torts nuisance trespass uh, malicious prosecution passing off strict liability absolute liability vicarious liability negligence causation sovereign immunity uh, and leading cases on law of torts now coming to contract law so contract law is comparatively simpler we'll be doing agreement contract proposal acceptance invitation to offer consideration free consent legality of object discharge of contracts special type of contracts damages and partnership which falls under special type of contracts only so these are the topics to be covered under contract law uh coming to criminal law so criminal law actus reus mens rea uh, offenses against body offenses against women offenses against state offenses against marriage general defenses will be certain topics inquiry offenses and offenses against property will be topics that we'll have to cover under uh, criminal law coming to constitutional law we'll start with preamble uh, union and territory citizenship everything till article 51a has to be covered thoroughly apart from that uh, precedence power judiciary doctrines under the constitution and union territories will be certain important topics coming to the last but not the least miscellaneous laws under miscellaneous laws make sure you know the basics of family law because that is one of the most important miscellaneous laws uh some basics of evidence law and procedural laws consumer protection act environment act and intellectual property rights will be certain important miscellaneous laws apart from that in the legal current affairs a certain topics related to administrative law pnj would also be important so this is going to be the detailed syllabus of the clat examination now there are two ways to cover this syllabus you can either join an institution or you can prepare on your own if you wish to prepare for your clat examination with us you can visit the website 12minutestoclat.com you will find new courses in which you can enroll if you wish to go for only legal reasoning preparation that is also available you can use code kriti b for additional discount if any of you wish to and uh, you can complete your syllabus through these classes and uh, your legal reasoning syllabus will be covered if you enroll in the course your whole syllabus will definitely be covered so that is one way to go for it please do check out the website for mocks and for courses so that you have a fair idea of the same so the second method could be uh, to prepare for the legal reasoning section without coaching now the topics in detail that i have told you about you can google these topics and read about them from various legal websites for example latest laws for example i pleaders academic on which you will get plethora of articles on these topics to understand better or you can just uh, watch certain videos on youtube related to these topics to prepare for the same but the only problem is it would not be so structured but definitely it is a call that you can take for yourself coming to the last point how to practice legal reasoning section so you can either enroll in uh, our mock test series or you can buy some mock test series if you wish to and um, practice the same because practice is extremely important if you don't practice these topics you will not get to know whether you have understood the concept completely or not if you are someone who is struggling with legal reasoning section and scoring well in legal reasoning section make sure that you practice one to two passage based question daily for the next 20 25 days just take out 10 minutes of your time in a day and practice the same that will definitely improve your legal reasoning score and that is my guarantee so i hope this session was very helpful for you thank you so much have a great day if any of you wish to enroll with us you can check out our website uh, the description has the link 
12minutes2clad.com. You can check mocks, you can check legal recent courses, uh, current affairs courses, or whole uh, holistic courses in which everything will be provided to you at the comfort of your house. You can use code KTB if you like this video. Thank you so much, guys, and I hope to see you in another session. Bye.